And hello everybody, my name is Alphonse Zeus. Welcome to another episode of Revolving Tuesday, aka Xbox 360 gameplay. Right now I'm planning to actually switch up a bit. I'll be providing commentary over pre-recorded footage. And today's game will be Soul Calibur 5. Uh pretty much I wanted to choose this game because, you know, at the time of this uh, voiceover, this is actually after Evo, while the recorded footage was actually maybe a few months prior. Uh, Soul Calibur has been an interesting game experience for me. I, I don't know, you could say it's like, what, Tekken with weapons or something, but it turns out to be like completely different, with, especially with the combos. Um, right now I'm just going to do some ranked matches for you guys. Uh, I have, you know, I know quite a few characters I'm good with. My main character though is actually Tira. And, you know, I've actually liked her since Soul Calibur uh, 3 when she debuted and just wanted to kind of master her. Now. Uh, with all the stuff that's been uh, going on right now, uh, I hope to at least, you know, like be good in at least, you know, some fighting games because, you know, there's so many of them out there and you have to, like, you know, really step up and play just a little bit more and, you know, it finds itself in a very, very big situation. Alright, let's see what we got Welcome here. Back to the stage right. of history. Tira. Tira. Let's see, who are we up against? Once again, kind of sorry, uh, video quality may be a bit low. I'm just using like a Dazzle DVC 100 to uh, record my footage, but hopefully, as time goes on, I'll be able to get a um, an upgraded recording system. And we have a double gin user. Oh snap! All right. Let's see how this one goes. I, like, it's interesting how Namco would actually put in the fighting styles, and to have it put double gin. So that double gin in there is good. Right, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Fight. Like, I guess I'm like already combos that I had uh, in place here. Because I guess one of my uh, habits. Oh wow. Just blocked all that. One, two. Okay. Well, I don't know, sometimes I kind of get a uh, bad habit. Because usually whenever I go like the full combo to Tira, I don't really interrupt them. Like, say you see when she, she spins when she uh, goes forward, spins twice. Uh, that's a good round though. But once you spin around twice, like you know, that can be easily punishable. And I gotta stop at the first step is block. Oh, uh, the powder. The powder the side step. Okay. See that move right there, yeah. I always go through that like the two. Just because like it's either I think the opponent not won't block the second hit or it's just Alright. Oh wow. Gotta get my like that block thing, right? I wish I could sidestep that, but yeah. Yeah, another one of my uh, habits is actually, you know, when she's on the ground and I, like as she's rising, she does that little like kick through the uh, hula hoop on the ring blade. I mean. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, so some some good stuff. And when it comes to meter, I always usually go for her, um, her brave edge, which means the cinematic one. Ooh, that's bad. I think I think the uh, sound effects actually come from his end. And I also like um, I actually didn't utilize the um, the taunt at the end of the round. I know, like, the guys that watch Evo, um, Shiny Decapon, he actually always, um, oh, wow. He always, uh, you know, use that taunt to get into the next, uh, into the Gooby state. Do me a favor. Right now, I'm pretty glad that I managed to uh, get past that round with no problems. Oh, man. It's just that, like, usually, I think one of the bread and butters that I would use that involved the Brave Edge, um, well, critical edge, critical edge, yeah, critical. <laughs> well, I can't really mess it up. Uh, is to uh, down forward, uh, vertical, back, horizontal, and then go into critical edge. Alright, let's see what we got here. Who is our next match? Um, I guess while we're still waiting, uh, what I want to like, concentrate on is. Uh, Maybe after that, I still got some fighting games left over to play, like Skullgirls, Mortal Kombat, Dead or Alive 4. Uh, I only have the first Blast Blue, which is a Calamity Trigger. Um, I don't think I got anything beyond that. 
But yeah, it's you know, why it's cover all fighting games, before I move on to anything else. Unless you guys want to see me play some RPGs, then you can just you know put in the comments below. But let's get right to the match. So I'm running up against the Alpha Patrickles. He's always kind of a hard matchup because he's like a uh, a really big um you know a really big threat because ever since he got that upgrade, like you know, especially with like like you can combo off of that. That's amazing. It really is amazing. Oh god. That's uh, it's always on the crazy when you go on the edge and it's like, oh crap, I have to sidestep or grab this guy and then I like, get out. Ready? Oh man. Is very like hard. I don't know, I guess with Tira especially I rely on the folks a lot. I think it's so I should really like especially when I'm far away and I don't have like a large uh I don't have like a large, um, I have, a, I have a, you know, a decent amount of life and I'm far away, I can taunt to go into the blue state. But the combos I gotta know a lot better is definitely the, uh, two. Oh man. I should've did like the headbutt. I should've did the headbutt, headbutt cause um, I remember, I, lo I just go into combo with Evo too. After you do that, like, you know, got him up in the air. I'll carve my own face. And then, like, yeah, I guess, like, after that, I should do the headbutt, and then, like, goes to a kind of a hard knockdown, which will be a down there for a while. So, like, it's just gonna be, like, yeah, like, and do a brave edge this time on his body. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, God. I'll carve my own fate. I just hate that. Uh, Oh, man. It's like that momentum too. It's all about that momentum. You can do this. Stay calm. The battle for fight. Oh man, that was so unsafe. Oh man, so bad. Oh wow. Can we cancel into that? Will we stay time? Oh man, that's good stuff. <laughs> the battle has finished. Yeah, you are still up. alive? I must be losing my touch. Yeah, that's like I don't know, it's like some of the best Oh achievement. Awesome. <laughs> awesome stuff. Um I guess the reason why I'm doing that another reason why I'm doing like the recorded commentary, not just to mix things up a bit, but it's because um my initial uh recording of live commentary it had a large stack in the background, and that was before I realized that I should just like lower my input a bit. So therefore, there's not as much like you know like static in the background. I don't have to worry about like lowering or adjusting the volume or whatnot. Um, pretty much, yeah. Like, I've been practicing tier for oh, like you know a while. I was hoping to you know I want to go you know pro with her. Just like you have all these other fighting games you want to do. Oh man. Uh, we got so some more. Uh, Song styles in the background. I think, I don't know, when I was recording this, I may have muted the TV just for that moment, but it's, uh, you know, it's all good. And Lexia is like, her combo, like, pretty much the mix ups you get from Lexia are just too much. And you have, like, uh, you have, like, this definitely weird, um, you know, like, set, like, it's, 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 it's not as tricky as Natsu. But still, like, it's just her, like, her, uh, I guess you want to call it swagger, and, uh, you know, just, like, kind of fluid range of motion, so that she can actually combo into almost anything. Oh, man, I made so many mistakes there. Should've known that as well. And back in the jolly state. Oh, man. 
I'm still like so new with uh, you know, even though we just got back into Soul Calibur at five. I didn't play four as much, but like I wanted to you know, at least get back into the fighter which seemed pretty solid. Oh man. That's sweet. Even though I'm still blocking high. Oh wow, she got perfect on this. Yeah, I didn't, she didn't get the perfect on me, so I'm satisfied with just that. Oh man. I guess like, like, I made a lot of mistakes. Maybe it was a song that got to me, or it's just like, uh, maybe it was just like, I just really just suck at that matchup. I don't know, I always use the medicine choke and just mess up on that. Uh, let's see here. We still got like a couple more matches to go. Uh, I don't know, if you guys also want to fight me on Soul Calibur 5, don't forget my tag is Al my gamer tag is Alphonse Zeus. Pretty much the same as my uh, YouTube name. Let's see. Now, uh, pretty much with like some of the other Soul Calibur like topics I got, we have like you know you got characters in the game that are not the same character but they have the same fighting styles or aka their students. So I have Lexia where it's like the student of Shanghua. Uh, you have Aziba who is the uh, the student of Kilik, even though that Kilik is also in the game and he has he actually has just like the soul mat uh, soul edge style. Or like you know Lucium where he just it's like random each round. Is that even moving? Okay, yeah, he's moving. Just, that guy got the safe box right now. Man, that's a bug. Let's see what else we got. Oh, wow. Man. Kirk's always been like a messy fighting style for me, so it's like... You have to, uh, because he has that range with the bow staff, so it's like. Phew. Oh man, I should just w waited a little bit more on that uh, critical edge. See, the thing is, though, I started playing in uh, uh I started playing in uh, Soul Calibur 2 actually, uh, when they had a pretty interesting exclusive characters for each system. Um. I remember I main Q and then I played some Talon and some Nightmare. Uh, and then like, I think according to the system, I had the GameCube versions and the Xbox version. I played both of them, so I had my chance at Link and um, Astaroth. And they were pretty big, big funny, big characters to join, I guess. Uh, Excellent. Oh, I still gotta get in there. Fight. That start up on that, I got uh, on that uh, well, that dash in with the uh, vertical. Oh man, so unsafe. Easily punishable. All right, let's try and get the winner here. Oh man. Ooh. Out of bad hit. Oh, I'm in Ruby State. Ruby State's way better. Of course, yeah, I run the risk that I'm actually losing a little bit of my own life when I, uh, you know, use some of her uh, bigger uh, moves. But, you know, the thing is, it's worth it. If I deal more damage with that, then, like, you know, good for me. I should use a combo where, like, after I launch with the air, I can immediately go into um, run and uh, kick to get that little cinematic uh, move there. Gotcha. Oh, that's fake out. I'm actually doing pretty good so far. Lame. You didn't even yeah. try. I, 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 like, and back in this, um, Soul Calibur 5 news, like, you know, for those that watch Evo, I was really happy that, you know, Shiny Decapon's Tira won, uh, the, the whole tournament. 
I love those combos, those are very safe, and especially when you use the Brave Edges, so effective. I am just really glad that I managed to, um, you know, get that out of the way. And 